Hey guys, this is Blue One. Once more, this is my fifth plugin tutorial, and I'm going to be teaching you all about locations and teleporting a player. So this will be kind of fun. Um, I have not planned out this one at all. I just decided to do it, and here I go. So first of all, I'm going to, in case you didn't know, um, show you how to rename a plugin. Or pa I, um, I always forget this every single time. Project. Rename a project. I'm going to rename it Basic just because um, I got rid of the other ones because my last problem that I had in the permissions tutorial you may have seen that where I had several plugins all using the same command and that caused some major issues with not allowing me to actually use the permissions from some of the plugins which everyone was um, it ran through first was the one apparently that used the permissions or didn't use them whether they existed or not that probably sounded like a mess of English anyway I got rid of the other ones, so I've only got one plugin in the um, in the server, and it's this one, which is now renamed Basic. So if you right-click it, you can go to Refractor, which allows you to rename and move. You click Rename, you can name it anything you want, and then click Done. I've renamed it Basic, as you can see. So in plugin.yml, uh, no, don't keep that. Okay, we're going to rename this from Fourth to Basic. Blue one dot basic. This means also that we will not be having to rename the package or anything of that nature anymore from now on. So this will be um, simpler, I think. We're going to also change this version to 1.5 since this is uh, 1.4 since it was 1.0 on the first, second, third, fourth, and this is the fifth tutorial. We are in version 1.4. Description will stay the same. Uh, we can have this stay the same as well. So we're going to save it now. And we will refresh, and we're ready to go. All right. Oh wait, wait, not quite. We're going to also use the refractor on this package right here. We're going to rename it from fourth to basic. This does rename it in the class files as well, so you don't have to worry about any new imports or anything. It's already done. So in commands.java, we're going to add a command that will allow you to teleport to a location. First of all, I'm going to teach you a little bit about locations. Um, we'll create a new command right here. That's if command get, get names equals ignore case G. Let's change that to B for basic. Basic space apple will give you an apple. So if you have permission basic, we're going to change all of that up a little bit. Basic. There we go. And I'm just using subcommands so that I don't have to um, get a, a, another command from this class every single time and really we don't need to do this unless there's several commands coming from that class um, you don't have to have this at all because the only executor for this command is this class anyway um, so forward slash b space apple will now give you an apple if you have basic or if you're opt so right over here um, if args else if args we're going to have this 0 dot equals ignore case which is right there we're going to call this um, b space tp okay so that means you're going to teleport uh, let's see what are we going to do all right here here's what we'll do inside right underneath this player this is a, um, a variable so we are going to create a new variable it's, the type is location instead of player. We're going to call it lock1, just in case we have several, equals new location. Now, the location, first of all, has to be imported, and then you have to, it takes in the world name. Um, no, not the world name, sorry. It get, takes in the world, as you can see here, um, the X, the Y, and the Z, Z, whichever. You can also go through and add the pitch and the, not the role the pitch and the yaw in that order, I believe. Um, so that'll point you in any particular direction where you're looking. So right here, first we're going to do world w equals p dot get world. There we go. So we have set world variable w equal to the world that the player's in. We're going to have a double x because integer really isn't accurate enough for locations because um, the block right here 
it might set you right here because this is the integer name for it. So <clears throat> we press F3 here. You notice that, sorry, right, and there, this corner. This corner is where it would teleport you to if it were in integers because as you can see that's 60.00 almost zero so it's almost perfect 60 and almost perfect 148 it would teleport you to right here which a lot of plugins will do that they'll teleport you to right here but if you want to be teleported to a specific location you're going to have to set it to a double and then set it to um, for instance right here is 60.5 and 148.5 so we'll actually use those so that's 60.5 148.5 60.5, just so we can remember them. Um, we'll comment those out, space it a bit. So double x equals p dot get location. No. No. If we were to set that, okay, never mind. Ignore what I just did there. I'm sorry. D the x double we're going to set to. Oh, was the x? Yeah, x was uh, 60.5. So we're going to set this to 60.5. If it is set to a double, you must have 0.5. If you just want it 60, then you have to do 60.0 or set it to an integer. Of course, you probably already know that. So we're going to have double y equals. What was our y? 71. Okay, that's, that's about right. Oh, whoops, sorry. Uh, 71.5. We'll have 71.5 just so it doesn't teleport you into the ground if you're lagging. Double z equals. We're going to have this set to 148.5 just like that. Alright, now simply enough, we'll pass in the w for the world, the x, the y, and the z. There we go. That is location one is now in the player's world at 60.5, 71.5, 148.5, just like that. So if they type forward slash b space tp, then it will p dot. This is very, very simple. It's always simple because it's Java. Teleport. You can use the entity argument or you can use the location argument. They're the same thing. What you're actually doing is the location argument. So teleport them to lock one and you're done so let's try this out and see how well it works we're going to refresh make sure we didn't change anything without refreshing export next um we're going to change this to basic like that okay which means we're going to need to stop just like that we're going to have to go One moment. We'll go to the tutorial server here. There it is. We'll run it. Oh, well, we didn't mean to do that. Plugins. we got to delete this baby, which we can't do yet. All right. Stop. Done. Try again. Gone. OK, so run. We'll minimize that, minimize that. Finish. All right, so it's exported. Now let's try this out. Oops. Man, I'm clumsy. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. So now it's forward slash B space Apple. Um, looks like we just missed something. Hmm. Oh, I know. I know what we did. Sorry, I forgot to change that. We changed B right here. So because we do have it set over here, we have to change this to B as well. It typed it out like that. That was an error that I should have mentioned before when I was talking about um, commands. Is that if it's in the plugin.yml as a command, then if you type forward slash B, it will register it as a command in the game. Um, so we'll reload that. The apple gives us an apple, works nicely throw that in for the squid b space tp poof oh look we're dead center we're facing this direction because this direction is south um so let's go hopping off this way poof there we go again 
Now, if you want to set it so that it is in the direction that you're already looking, for instance, if I'm looking there, that it'll just teleport me back to this location, still looking in that exact direction. That's fairly simple to do. Let's go back over here. I'm going to create two more things here. Float yaw equals player dot get location dot get yaw. There we go. Float pitch equals p dot get location dot get pitch. There we go. Now let's put in right here. And let's see if that if I didn't get those two backwards, because if it's pitch and then yaw, then we're going to be looking in some real weird direction. So let's try this out. We'll reload. Let's see. I'm looking towards the sun. And looks like it worked. OK, so let's try this looking over here. Very nice. Uh, so I did get those in the right order. They are um, yaw and pitch, not pitch and yaw. Yeah, yawn pitch. All right, um, pitch is this direction because it's like the pitch of the angle. Um, the pitch of a roof, for instance, is the angle of the roof that's up and down. The yaw is this direction, and I'm not exactly sure what to compare that to, except for that it's the other thing other than the pitch. The roll is um, can't be demonstrated because you don't have any roll here, but it's like when the screen actually turns sideways. For instance, actually. Um, See if I can do this. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, I didn't quite push E fast enough. Okay, when you die um, to the side, uh, when an animal dies as well, if we summon a cow. There we go. And give blue on the diamond sword. Then we kill this cow. Notice how he fell over. That was the roll of the cow. His roll was 90 degrees when he actually hit the ground because he rolled all the way over 90 degrees. All right, so that's pitch, yaw, and roll, basic Java functions for you. Um, Minecraft only uses pitch and yaw. I hope this tutorial wasn't too long. It's 12 minutes, and I wasn't expecting that. I tend to go on too long about things. Um, I'll try to be better about that in the future. So if you if you found this helpful, if you liked it, um, please put a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. If your friends need any help with this, if you need help with anything, make sure to hit me up in the comments. I'll be glad to reply and glad to help. Um, anything having to do with Minecraft, really, I could probably help with you. Um, but mostly with Bucket is what I'm here to help with. And that's, oh, that's all for now, guys. For to now. For today. For now. Uh, I will do advanced teleports and advanced um, locations and such at a later date. For now, this is just a basic how to teleport to a set location. Uh, I will also do configurations later, so you can set the location in the configuration. I can run many times. So, hit me up in the comments. I'll be glad to see them. You guys have a nice day coding.